this is our brand new Zerch grinder. Now this is gonna be the Z24, which is the smallest surface grinder that they have available. And right next to it, we have the Z600, but that's for another video. So let's go ahead and set this up and I'll walk you through some of the controls. Now that we're inside the machine, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different features of the Zerch grinder. Let's start with the axis. So down here at the bottom, we have our X stops. That's gonna control the machine's movements left and right of that machine table. Now up and down is gonna be our Y axis. That's gonna move the wheel in and out of our material. And Z is gonna move that wheel across and away from that material. Now on the right side, we have three different diamonds. The middle diamond is gonna be controlled for the outside diameter dressing. Then the left and right diamond are gonna put the contours on your grinding wheel, such as radiuses and angles. Now on the left hand side, you have your magnetic table. That's where your work holding is gonna go. Then you have a 10 inch grinding wheel. So all of that together is gonna to be great for small, accurate parts. That's what makes this machine great. So now that we know a little bit about the machine, let's go ahead and dress our wheel in and grind our magnetic chuck. All right, so now that I have my wheel dressed in, I'm gonna go ahead and mark up my magnetic chuck with a black Sharpie. Now, the cool thing about these Zerch grinders is that you can actually operate them manually, and that's how we're gonna dress in this magnetic chuck. Now, dressing in a magnetic chuck is gonna be the only way that you can mount something to the table and grind it flat. If your chuck's not perfectly flat, then your workpiece is not gonna be right no matter what you do. So all I'm gonna do here to grind it manually is I'm gonna make sure my hydraulics are on. That's gonna allow my table to move back and forth, left and right. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind my magnetic table in because this is gonna be the starting point for following parts. If this table's off, your part's gonna be off. We've been making a lot of videos on YouTube and you guys know that. And a lot of people can uh, talk about YouTube and social media and there's different things you can say, but the truth is our kids are now watching the videos getting excited about manufacturing. People in, in dead end jobs are learning how to manufacture in our videos. They're getting inspired. They're starting their own companies, making their own products. And literally the industry is changing and that's the brilliance of YouTube. But one of the things that wasn't on YouTube when we started out was grinding. When you look at CNC's and you look at these crazy cutters going through metal, you got chips hitting the, hitting the glass and you're just like, ah, you know, and it makes for an exciting video. But you don't really have that in grinding because now you're taking surfaces and you're grinding them absolutely perfect with a lot of oil in it. And, and it takes a lot of talent to do that and that's hard to put on camera. But once we started showing the different parts, we started showing people that grinding, there's a whole world of grinding and the planes that you get on don't fly if they don't have the precision ground components that, that fit into that engine perfectly so grinding is a huge part of manufacturing and, and we've strived to take it to all different levels and we have great partners like united grinding where you have walter you have studer you have bloom you have these great companies that encompass like this monster company right here but just like with the cnc's where we have matsura we have ycm we have emco we have style we have levels to the game we wanted to do the same thing here so right now we're super proud because today we're introducing the Zirsch grinder. Now you guys probably haven't seen this machine. You haven't heard about it because real companies like one that I know uses this machine, Shunk, one of our partners. If you go in there, they actually have Zirsch grinding. When you look at this company, Zirsch, third generation company, amazing family, amazing company that makes amazing products, world-class engineering, they're reliable, the quality is exceptional, but here's the kicker, it comes in at a low price when it comes to grinding. And not only does it come in at a low price, but guess who's the national distributor right here in the USA? Titans of CNC, baby. So now that I ground my table, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a rinse off with the built-in coolant nozzle. Now, what's cool about a coolant nozzle, rather than an air gun, is you can spray off the parts without blowing swarf into the air. So now that I ground the magnetic table, I'm gonna go ahead and take a 5 tenths indicator and check both X and Z to make sure that my magnetic table is flat. 
So now I'm gonna load up the first side with the part mounted to my one through three blocks. So I ground these one through three blocks perfectly flat and perpendicular off camera. If you wanna see how I did that, make sure you check out my post on MFG Connect. So now I'm gonna throw a mic on it to make sure I'm not gonna take off too much material per side. So what I wanna do next is I wanna check my Z positions. That way the wheel comes all the way off the right side and all the way off the left side of the part. So now that I set my zero on X, Y, and Z, I'm gonna go ahead and take my first cut on the first face. So check that finish out. That tear lit 80 grit wheel makes really great work of that 17-4 stainless. So since I ground my one, two, three blocks as a perfectly matched pair and they're perfectly square, I can go ahead and rotate my part on its side to do the second face. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run an indicator up my Y axis to make sure that my part is sitting straight up. Then I'm gonna take a skim cut on the second face and what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me a perfect right angle so the first and second face are perpendicular to one another. But once I'm done with the second face, I can go ahead and take it off the machine and dismount it from the one, two, three blocks. So after I remove the part, I'm gonna take the tear lip machinist stone that you can find on our store to make sure that my magnetic table didn't get any nicks from removing the part. So since I'm only grinding four sides of this fence is I can go ahead and locate on the first side I ground. I know that that's flat. So since I did the first and second side perpendicular to one another, when I ground the third side, that's gonna make the first and third side parallel to each other. So on the fourth and final side, I can go ahead and locate my second side to my magnetic table because I know that is flat. And that's gonna give me a parallel side for my fourth and second side and a square part all the way around. So now that I finished the outside of the part, if you'll notice on this fence is I put in a groove. Now I wanna make sure that this groove is square and parallel to my outside edges. But the problem I have is that this wheel is too wide to fit inside the groove. So what I have to do now is I have to dress the sides of the wheel. That way it makes the wheel narrow to fit inside the groove. So what's important about this groove is I'm doing a manual grind and I'm using the side of the wheel on both sides. So that's why I dressed it with the silicon carbide. That's gonna give me a relief and that's gonna give me a nice cross hatch on the sides of my part. So next up is inspection. I'm gonna make sure that my part is flat, square and parallel all around and I have a good part for future projects. So check this finish out. This part came out absolutely perfect and it's actually on dimension. What makes this Zerch grinder really good is that it's a low price point with high quality accuracy. So I machined this part on the Sile X9 and I made it out of 17.4 stainless. So my biggest reason of why I chose 17.4 is not only is it corrosion resistant, but once I start using it and I develop a low spot or a ding or a scratch, I can go ahead and resurface it and boom, we're right back to where we need to be. So if you like what we're doing, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment, like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Deuces. No. Why can't I do deuces? No.